Let's go through boxes 49 and 50 in nickels. Sweet! Yeah, this year, so we flip it over like that. The Benjamin! A-M-A-O-N-O. -A -O -O. Silver quarter from 19... Hello everyone and welcome to Newest Day. Double hunting boxes 49 and 50 on the year in nickels as I said in the intro. And last hunt was crazy with the two V nickels. Now before we start, let's look at the album. Alright, here's how the album looks. We're actually not missing much. We're just missing all the hard to get ones and silver. I'll bring you in on our first find. Roll one, and we already have our first find. A 1949 Jefferson from Philly. Roll two, and we got a 1939 Jefferson nickel. If it is the Denver, we need it for the book. Nope, it is the Philadelphia. Roll six, we have multiple finds. First, a 1940 Jefferson from Philadelphia. The Ender was a 1959 Jefferson from Denver, and then we had a silver war nickel pop out in this roll. I don't think we need any Philly silvers besides the 1942, so let it be the 1942. Nope, it's the 1944. Still a great coin. Roll 8, and we have a 1947 Jefferson from Philly. Roll 9, and we got a 1941 Jefferson from San Francisco. It's actually not that bad. Roll 10, and we got a 1955 Jefferson from Denver. Roll 15, we've got two finds. First, I'm going to pull out the 1957 Jefferson from Denver, and then let's take a look at this one. This is a 1938 nickel. If it has a mint mark, we need it. Nope, no mint mark, unfortunately. Roll 16, and we have a 1953 Jefferson from Denver. Roll 17, and we have a 1941 Jefferson from Philly. Roll 19, and we have a 1948 Jefferson from Philadelphia. Roll 24, and we have a 1958 Jefferson from Denver. Halfway done with the box, and we have another find. This one is a 1957 from Denver. Roll 27, and we have a 1959 from Philadelphia. Roll 28 has two finds. First, a 1955 Jefferson from Denver, and then somewhere in here was a 1941. I'm trying to find it. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, there it is. 1941 Jefferson from Philly. Rule 31 has multiple finds. First, a 1954 Jefferson from Denver. And then a 1939 Jefferson, one roll back. Well, not one roll, one coin back. It's a Philly. A 1958 Jefferson from Denver. And then last, a 1952 Jefferson from Philly. Roll 32, and we have another 50s coin. This one is a 1951. If it has the San Francisco Mint, we need it for the book. Nope, it is a Philly. Roll 34, and we have a 1954 Jefferson from Philly. Roll 36, and we have a 1946 from Philly. Roll 40, and we have a 1959 Jefferson from Denver. Roll 41, and we have a 1939 Jefferson from Philly. Rule 45, and we have a 1954 Jefferson from Philly. Rule 46, and we have a 1958 Jefferson from Denver. Rule 48, and we have a 1952 Jefferson from Philly. Last roll of the box, we got the last find of this box. A 1954 Jefferson from Denver. I'll bring you in with a wrap-up of this box. 
All right, box 49 is done, and I'd say it was a pretty mediocre box. Three 39s, 138, and a 44, Philadelphia, silver war nickel, and all these 40s and 50s. Now that I think about it, I don't think it's a very mediocre box. I think it's just above that. I'll bring you in on our first find in box 50. First roll, one of the first coins in, was a 1957 Jefferson from Denver. Roll three, and I've done it again, a silver war nickel. This one is another 1944. If it's a Denver or a San Francisco, we need it for the book. Nope, it's a Philly. Roll four has two finds. First, a 1959 Jefferson from Denver, and then a 1941 Jefferson from Philly. Roll eight, and we have a 1947 Jefferson from Philly. Roll 11, and we have two finds. First, a 1955 Jefferson from Denver, and then a Canadian nickel in the back of the roll. What year is it? 1994. Roll 12, and we have a 1948 Jefferson from Philly. Roll 15 has multiple finds. First, a 1940 Jefferson from Philly, a 1958 Jefferson from Denver, and then last, the ender was a 1939 Jefferson from Philly as well. Roll 21, and we have a 1954 Jefferson from Denver. Roll 23, and we have a 1946 Jefferson from Philly. Halfway done with the box, and we have a 1957 Jefferson from Denver. Roll 30, and we have a 1939 Jefferson. If it has a Denver, we need it for the book. Nope, it is a Philly. Roll 36 has two finds. First, a 1953 Jefferson from San Francisco, and then a 1958 Jefferson Ender from Denver. Almost looks like it's San Francisco as well, but that's not possible. Rule 39, and we have a 1953 Jefferson from Denver. Rule 45, and we have yet another Canadian. This one's another diadem from 1990. Rule 46, and we have a 1940 Jefferson from Philly. Last roll of the box, last finds of the hunt. First, a 1939 Jefferson. If it has a Denver, we need it for the book. Nope, no Denver. And a 1947 Jefferson from Philly. I'll bring you back with a wrap-up. Alright, box 50 is done, but I'm going to smash the two boxes together in one big wrap-up. Two silvers, two Canadians, 138, and all these 1939s. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Although we didn't get any silver for the silver jar last time, today, we've got two.